In this video, we will look at performing some common storage tasks in vSphere using the vSphere web client. To add an iSCSI adapter, from the home screen, click on Hosts and Clusters. Select the desired ESXi host and click on the Manage tab and then on Storage. Click the green plus icon and select Software iSCSI adapter. The iSCSI adapter will be created and added to the list. Click on the iSCSI adapter and then click Edit if you need to modify the iSCSI adapter name or alias. Click Targets and then click Add in order to add a target server address. And then click OK. A rescan of the iSCSI adapter will be needed. After the rescan operation has completed, you should then see the active paths as well as the individual storage devices. To add data stores, click on the Related Objects tab and then on Data Stores. Click the new data store icon. Select the data store type and click Next. Name the data store and select the device to create the data store on. Configure the partition layout as desired and click Next. Click Finish to create the data store. Now that we've created one data store, we will repeat the same process to create another two data stores. Proceed through the wizard as before using the same procedure to create the second data store. And once again, let's repeat the same process and proceed through the wizard to create the third data store. To create a data store cluster, use the navigator and navigate to the storage objects area. Right click the data center object and select storage and click new data store cluster. Provide a name for the cluster, enable storage DRS if desired and click next. Set the cluster automation level to fully automated and proceed through the wizard. Configure the storage DRS runtime settings as desired and click Next. Select the cluster or the individual ESXi hosts that require connectivity to the data store cluster. Select the data stores that you want included in the data store cluster and click Next. Review the summary and click Finish to create the data store cluster. You will now see the data store cluster object in the inventory panel. To browse files on a data store, right click on the data store and click Browse Files. From here you can browse through the folder and files located on the data store in an easy to use graphical interface. To monitor data store usage and performance. While you have a data store object selected, click on the Monitor tab and then on Performance. From here you can view various graphs and charts that will outline some statistics in real time regarding the data store. Change the view to space in order to view the data store usage breakdown. 